social behaviour interview room. And what does it say on the door? Social behaviour interview room. I guess I'm in the right place. So why did you ask? Uh, I don't know. Please leave. Now, now, let's not be too hasty. Please, take a seat. Should I sit here? Yeah, I think you're right, but I don't think this is going to work out. I can sit on the floor. <laughs> Why don't you sit outside? Okay. Times a day do you use the bathroom? Oh, okay. Um, eleven. Wait, do you mean use it to go for a wee or use it to check my hair? And what I know. Come in. Hi, I'm here for the social behaviour test. Great, take a seat. I'm So then. Wait, this is being filmed? I didn't realise it was being filmed. Is that a problem? No, I guess not. Fantastic. Now, on a scale of 1 to Do 10... Do I get paid? More? So it's being filmed? No, not at all. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10... How well, won't it be shown? Shown? Yeah, like on at the cinema or Netflix. No. Only we will be watching this and nobody else. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you... After all, it'll be on DVD. I want to give it to my agent. I think we're finished here. Cool. When do I get my copy? Get. Out. Six. Unless it's after dinner, then five. Alright, final section. And this one is just to see how you think. Now, look at this and tell us what you see. I see a circle with two triangles. Now, now, tell us what image you see. Uh, oh, well then, I see a train. Okay, um, how about this one? Uh, a train. Um, a train on its side. Okay, okay, okay. How about an easy one? A train going backwards on the tracks. How do you see that? Where do we get these people? They're just a big bunch of idiots. Dr. Dr. Hodges. So, how did I do? Yeah but these people would result in a test of idiots. Hi, I'm here for the behaviour test. I hope I'm not too late. Yes, but... Are we going to waste time asking and answering questions? Or are we going to get on with the experiment? We must be running short on time now. Get. Out. Good evening to all. My name is Dr. Cooper, and this is day one in our social behaviour experiment. And I'm Dr. Richardson, and over the next couple of days, this will be your home, and these, your housemates. Each day, you'll all be set a different puzzle or challenge to overcome. As the day ends, one of you will be leaving. By the end, only one will be left, and they will be the winner of our top prize of £10,000. Let's begin. Can we sit with you? Uh, 
Yeah, sure. I think I figured it out. What? The first test. But they haven't given us one yet. Exactly. Been here for hours and been given nothing. That's because they want us to form social interactions with each other and pair up. Huh? Basically, they want us to bond so we can spot the weakest link. And that's her. She's our weak link. She needs to go. Agreed. Agreed. Tom? Well? Um. Uh, yeah, defo. I mean, agreed. Smother. Yes? Do you mind coming with me? What for? The first challenge awaits. Leave them. You won't need them where you're going. Um, why? No more questions. Uh, Samantha's not back. Because she was the weakest. Now let's leave. There's only one left. It's okay. We'll share. No. Can't you see it's a test? Only the strongest will eat, the weakest will starve. <sighs> you sure know a lot about this. You sure you're not one of them and our testers to figure you out? Try me and all you get is a mouthful of blood! Tom found the food, so Tom shall have the last plate. Survives. Now one of you two needs to go. She's done. For the day. You've got the key. Oh. Give me the box. Back off, it's mine. We have calculated the results from the past few days, and have come to a conclusion. Well, who won? You all failed. What? Instead of coming together, you sided against one another, when you could have worked as a team to solve these puzzles, and benefit everyone. Our test was to see how a group of strangers acted in different circumstances, i.e. being locked in a room with hardly no food and no help. 
We've all turned into a band of bandits, selfish, untrusting, preying on the weak. We've had many chances to escape when we came in, but you choose to stay and fight for your own pride and egos. You isolated one person because they looked different, and you let another starve because she couldn't stand up for herself. You even turned to physical violence. Because of all your actions, you are still in here. When you could have been free with £10,000 in your pocket, 